Hey guys, what's going on today? I got an email from uh, AppMax and uh, they alerted me to a deal for Canadian Maple Leaf 2014 with the security feature uh, 2142 but uh, since there's no uh, free shipping now so you're gonna be charged with shipping so probably come out to be like 20 if you buy five maybe 20 to 50 23 bucks around there all right uh, so youtuber stoke jockey uh, alerted me to this uh, coin that looks it's a round but it looks very proof like uh, and it says silver bugs one ounce proof silver round and it's only 24.92 and let me see what he said here the mintage is uh, 10,000 like it says here and I think there's uh, about 366 coins left according to Stoke Jockey when he sent me a message. So uh, anybody interested in uh, this coin, um, and it's hard to tell how proof like it is with these images, but uh, I can tell you that uh, it's uh, got a Chinese character here, which I believe means family, like, you know, this is a silver community type of uh, around here proof round so just wanted to uh, show you that and in response to uh, salivate metals video on the wedge tail coins and he was kind of upset about not being able to buy the five ounce high relief but uh, we found out that the government uh, sold their sh uh, share of their one ounce uh, proof coin of the uh, wedge tail to the coinvault.com now uh, it's $99 I don't know what the shipping is here let me just check here found out it was $9.95 for shipping so a little bit cheaper than government which was $14.95 so the question is for some people should you buy this coin since it's available for those of you who haven't gotten it uh, yes and no if you just want to have it for just the nice beauty of the coin fine you can buy it that's okay uh, if you're looking to get it graded I highly recommend not to buy it because chances are these are not going to grade well as far as whether you can flip these coins it's very possible you can make some profit because it's hard to uh, find these and you might be able to sell it for more money to the international markets on like Europe or Asia because you just can't find these coins anymore and I've seen uh, many comments uh, expressing their disgust and frustration about how the little guy couldn't you know, get, this, get these coins from government and that how they have the exclusive rights from Perth Mint and then you know it's just not fair and um, I myself uh, expressed some dissatisfaction too but uh, you know those guys at government probably are saying so what so what about youtubers complaining we don't care you know what they're saying is you know, we have our uh, top clients they got the money and that's all they care about so for us to whine and complain uh, doesn't really do us any good except to vent and get your frustrations out but uh, perhaps there might be some other means to get smarter or better at getting these coins that we can't get in through these exclusive dealers so uh, if you have any ideas whether it's you know trying to get these coins from some other vendor outside of the United States maybe there's a way right so uh, if you can chime in below and type in your comments I would appreciate it very much alright thanks for watching guys